Hello students now we will be solving memory based questions of gate 19 for more video solution on gate 19 subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click bell icon for instant notification Hello students I am Rang sir and in this video we are going to solve some question which came in gate 2019 afternoon session and this question is related to open channel flow and the topic is our topic is hydraulic jump so question is like that is shown in your board at the foot of the spillway water flows at a depth of 23 cm with a velocity of 8.1 m per second as shown in figure you can see the depth of water is 23 cm the next part the flow enters as an m3 profile in a long wide rectangular channel with a bed slope 1 by 1800 and is that is meaning roughness coefficient that is 0.015 A hydraulic jump is formed at a certain distance from the foot at a spillway. Assume g equal to 9.81 meter per second square. Just before the jump, the depth of flow is what? That is why that you have to find out. The question is like what is coming from the uh, reservoir and the, at the foot of the spillway. At the foot of the spillway, the depth of water is 23 centimeter. and you know if water is coming down through the spillway it will creates a hydraulic jump and for that a pre jump depth is required that is your super critical depth is required and so they are asking the super critical depth they are asking the super that is y1 so it's a very the question is very lengthy but the solution is very easy for you you just have to read this whole part and write the given data you have so what are the given data you have you can write it first we have the depth of water is 23 cm at this point and uh, your bed slope is i am denoting this point as a p so dp depth at p point is nothing but 23 cm n is 0.015 slope that is s is 1 by 1800 g is given to you that is 9.81 now it's a simple question of continuity equation basically you have to use the continuity equation principle you know same amount of water is going from here to here from this point to this point so this point depth is 23 cm it is given to you so q will q at this point will be equal to q at this point so q you can find out about for this point because depth is given to you b i will take as a b only because it's not given it's a not i think in this question it's not given like unit depth uh, unit width like thing so you can take as b only so b into 0.23 that will be your area into i think velocity is given so you can find out the discharge part so that discharge is at this point will be something like this b into 0.23 into 8.1 and this discharge is going to be equal at this point because same continuity same section of that so if discharge is same at this point you can calculate the velocity how because n is given to you and s that is slope is given to you so n in in the sense you can use the manning equation formula so i am doing this part and this is the approach which just now i told that is the approach to solve this question so this point q p will be equal to q r this point i am telling that r which is required part so q p will be nothing but a into v so a is 0.23 that is your depth at that point into b into v is given to you that is 8.1 and that will be equal to 1 by n why i why i am writing 1 by n because i am writing the manning equation for velocity so that is 1 by n r to the power 2 by 3 s to the power 1 by 2 so 1 by n n is given to you that is 0.015 into r r is not given to you so r is hydraulic radius but if you look if you look in the question it is given that it's a wide long wide rectangular channel and long wide rectangular channel and you know that for a wide rectangular channel the hydraulic radius is equal to the depth of the flow that is y so r will be nothing but the y to the power 2 by 3 into s is given to you yes s is given that is 1 by 
to the power 1 by 2 into this is all about velocity what about the area of that that will be nothing but y1 into b y1 is the depth at that point that is required to that we have to find out and the b is not given to so b i am keeping in a both sides same as small v so b b we can cancel it out so b we can cancel it out the value which you remain with and this will be same as active even if you look at this question the value which is unknown to you is y1 there is only one value which is not given in this equation so 0 0.2 into 8.1 equal to 1 upon 0 0.015 into y1 to the power 2 by 3 into root under 1 by 1800 into y1 so this is all about and if you solve this part the value which you are getting for y1 is nothing but 1.107 1.107 and they are asking the question up to two dis up to two decimal places so it will be nothing but y1 equal to 1.11 meter 1.11 meter so that just before the hydraulic jump occur that is nothing but 1.11 meter i hope you understand this solution if you understand if you li like this solution part Please subscribe our channel so that you can get to know, you will get the notification for the next video related to the GATE 2019 civil engineering question paper in environmental engineering subjects. Thank you.